In this video, I'm going to show the steps for setting up a GitHub code spaces container that you can use to run um, our code. So I'll click on code here, code spaces, click new code spaces. Um, let's I think this should be fine. I'll use that. Create. So it's setting me up with the uh, default, which is going to be, um, which which is not going to have R. Let's just let it do that. Okay. So now I'm in here, and um, so the the first thing I want to do is. Um, open the command palette right here and I want to get a different um, container so dev container okay so I'm clicking this and um, it's going to show me a few common ones but I don't want those so I'm going to say show all so now um, I can go down and find, there we go. I like this one. So this has R and uh, Julia and more. It has a bunch of the R packages that I want, like tidyverse. I don't know. Okay, that's the only one I found that has that. Okay, so I'm just going to click that. And now you can see it's added this uh, dev container here. And this is this Docker file that has what I want. Um, and so it says rebuild now. So I'm going to rebuild now. Yeah, go ahead and rebuild. So now it's going to build it um, with this new Docker image that has R in it. Just have to be patient here. The next time that I start this code space, it's going to go much faster. Um, but the first time you have to build it. If I'm impatient, I can click the logs and see what it's, see the output. So this, um, this is going to have R, um, but it's not going to have like a R studio kind of way of interacting with R. Um, I haven't tried the visual studio interface for, to, to try to use R there. I suppose it's possible. I haven't done that. I'm going to show you how to do that using a Jupyter notebook. Taking a while. That uh, folder with the dev container, it, um, I could edit that and um, have it install more R packages that I wanted, so I, I can customize it. You notice this is taking a lot longer than the default one. That's um, because this image that I'm loading up has a lot of stuff, extra stuff. So it's for data science in Python, R, and Julia. So it's got three languages there. So it's kind of, kind of heavy. Now, as I said, I'm going to be interacting with R with Jupyter notebooks, 
It doesn't have the, the nice features that we're used to from our studio. Someone is working on an R extension for Visual Studio that gives us more of the features that we're used to from our studio. I haven't played with it yet, so I can't report on that, but I'm going to. I'll let you know. Okay, we're getting close. All right, so it took a little while, but you see it's not, um, it's not hard, just clicking a few buttons. And now I have this space where I can um, run some more. So let's do that. Let's, I don't want that. Um, let's see here. So I'm gonna do a new file. And So it'll get faster as as you're going along. This was the first time that um, I'm running a uh, a uh, Jupyter notebook here. Okay, so that was asking me if I wanted to rebuild my container. I don't actually think I I updated it. I don't know why it thinks I updated it. But in any case, I'm not going to re rebuild the whole thing. Okay, so now I've got this notebook going here, and I want to pick R. There we go. So now I'm working in R, and so I have, um, I, I know that in this container it has tidyverse, so I'll just do that. And uh, run it by doing that. Yep, there we go. And I can add, uh, add some more code. Um, okay, whatever. I am always hitting uh, return because I'm used to RStudio, but within the Jupyter Notebook, you run it uh, through here. But in any case, I can just run whatever R code that I want now. All right. Oh. So, um, yeah, let me show you how to get out of this once I'm done. So first off, uh, before I jump out, uh, I'm going to run over here and it tells me what things have updated. So, um, I could put in a commit mess message here. Um, you know, I could stage all these, let's just stage that. Uh, what else do I want to say? Stage that and, uh, you know, add dev container. I can commit that and then I want to add stage that and then add a test file. The, you know, the interface for working with, um, Git is a little different here, but you'll get used to it uh, quickly. So now it can say sync. So basically it's gonna um, push this up to the repository. There, it's okay. So sync. And you can tell it that um, you want it to just periodically um, fetch from the, um, from the repository on GitHub. Let's see. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now I'm, uh, I've am i synced up. I also have this thing here. I can uh, sync. This will uh, pull and push. 
And then when I'm done, I can go over here, go back to the repository. So leave my code space. I can look here and I can see, um, so this is this code space that I set up and I can see a little bit about it, that it's two core. I can see that it's active. Now, whenever it's active, it's, um, it's using money. Um, and so you should shut it down when you're not using it. Uh, but don't worry if you forget, it's going to shut itself down after a half hour. And then you'll have to restart it, but it goes a bit faster. So it doesn't have to do the whole rebuilding thing.